ードしました。Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Call Me the Dream Live x t e n s i v e and welcome back to another episode of the Clockwork Leyline. And I may, I may get some, I, uh, you know, those, those, I don't know, wrinkles, however you call, but only if you wonder why. It's because I got a pollen allergy. I guess I call it like that in English. Yeah, you no, know, like everything that is green, it's, yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about.、Uh, let's just continue. It's huge. It's the library. They are in the library now. We find the stairs heading down and up and reaching the basement. We enter the library, which is much larger than either of us expected. It feels like a wizard would live here. Yeah. Magnificent. Bold even begin to describe. Wouldn't even begin to describe the scenery before our eyes. The interior is decorated with intricate and old fashioned designs. The shelves lined with books written in, the, written in who knows what languages particularly touch the ceiling. Even the wooden footstools scattered throughout the room seem like. They are props for some unknown ceremony. <laughs> Can you imagine how huge this thing is? I mean, look how. how. how tall this building is, how tall this room is. How t-、oh, crazy, crazy.、Um, is there anyone here? Mara calls out as we wander around the maze of bookshelves. However, there is no response. We are the only ones here? What happened to that explanation we were going to get? Excuse me, is anyone here? He tries calling out again, but the result is the same. We progress further into the room. We are at the end already. Yeah, eh.、Uh, It looks like there's a room over there. There's a solitary door in the middle of the back wall. Let's try opening it. Are you sure this is safe? If we are not allowed to go in, it will be locked, right? True. That makes sense. I knock lightly just in case and pull the handle on the door. It opens without a hint of resistance. Uh, 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 Hello. Inside the simple and modest room, we find her reading a large leather bound book. Looking up, she greets us with an unfriendly tone of voice. Hello. Excuse us. We exchange pleasantries and enter the room. She is as expressionless as ever. Though she might privately consider us as nuisances.、Hmm. So, this is our nest. It will, it will be inconvenient to live here. This is the bureau for the investigation of special affairs. It is merely a headquarters and not a place of residence. Her stories. The stoic, however, face doesn't change as she says that. You look like you have something to say. Ah,、uh, well, I was just joking. I didn't expect you to take it so seriously. We haven't known each other for, for long enough for me to be able to tell how serious you're being. I guess so. We are definitely not welcome here. She's just not showing it on her face. Shizuka chan from the disciplinary committee was the one who first called this place a nest. She responds with a tiresome sigh. And here I thought the two of you would be on bad terms with each other. How right you are! Knowing a bit about both of you, 
of your responsibilities is not hard to come to that conclusion. Didn't you say a minute ago that you didn't know me that well? Uh, I also said a bit just now. She always has to have the last word. He's the one who keeps lashing out at me. I don't know what his problem with me is. You keep restarting too, Meiji. The disciplinary committee relies on teamwork. Please refrain, refrain from creating trouble. Oh, fine. It's not like I want to argue with him in the first place. He's the one who's always so aggressive. I already, already told her that reinforcements, reinforcements would be unnecessary. And yet she forcefully sends them here anyway, making me waste my time. It's not like we are here because we want to be. I unintentionally, I unintentionally interrupt her thought, and she looks my way as if it to appraise me. What in the world was the principal thinking when she decided to send you to here? Who knows? Maybe she thought that you would have too much on your plate if you were by yourself. That's probably not the case, but it's not like I can understand what's going on in that strange person's mind either. I am more than capable on my own. Did you not tell the principal that? I had, I had already made it clear, although it seems that it went in one ear out and the other. Uh, um. In a panic, Omar jumps in to dispel the manica, mean, menacing atmosphere. De, ano, ah, Ushio-san, uh, shall I call you chief instead? Never had that title before, since I was alone here. I feel like she put extra emphasis on the word alone. Even now, she probably wants to pretend that we, that we're, that we're never, that we're never sent here. What should I call you then? Feel free to call me whatever suits your fancy. Also, you can stop trying to act polite. I don't know why, but every time when they put those melodies, and you know uh, what I thought last time, I feel like I'm not sure, but it's those sounds remind me a little bit of Final Fantasy XII. I don't know. The I don't know. Those sounds were made from Square Enix. Maybe they teamed up with them. I don't know, but it sounds so similar. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get to anyway. While I may be your senior, I don't mind if you talk to me as if I were your equal. And um, with those melodies, it's so, it's so comfortable to talk, you know? It's so comfortable, it puts you so in such a comfortable mode, such a relaxing mode and really enjoyable mode to talk. From our point of view, it's really good. Oh, so you are okay with that? It irritates me to hear polite language spoken without genuine respect. It's not like I was being particularly polite to her to begin with. Her proposition helps me out. I don't have to be careful with my speech. Now, if I, if it weren't for that last unnecessary sentence. It, it, uh, um, in that case... I think I'll just stick with Ushisan. Uh, the melody changes now, he starts to troll. Yeah, the melody changes, he starts to troll, I guess. How's Ushisan? It was first. Her heart of stone makes me want to try and melt it. 
As expected, her expressions clouds over. Hmm, so she is capable of showing emotion. Uh -huh. Are there any other candidates? You are the one who said we could call you would be wanted. That's a familiarity. But Shishikatani Sampa is way too old. Is there something wrong with also calling me Ushio Zana Karasuma kun? It's kind of boring. And it will break the balance. Balance? Balance? Damn, she said that cute. Damn, she said that cute. He calls me Michi, and I call him Omaru. Both of us have such delightful nicknames. They're not delightful at all. I find without anything delightful. But Ushi would match Michi perfectly. I don't feel the need to, to have matching nicknames. <laughs> She is a girl, so couldn't you at least kind come up with something cuter? Cuter? Hmm, Ushio's chan, Ushi. That's Japanese for cow. How about Muchan? <laughs> curiously, curiously, my suggestion startles her, and she looks up at me. Huh? Uh, yeah. uh, it, it's Anything other than that, please. Rejecting the nick. The name she quickly tries to hide her unease by averting her gaze. Her reaction was not what I imagined to be, and it threw me for a loop. You don't like being associated with cows? Yeah. Oh. No, I don't mind that, but I don't like being addressed with Chan. For that part, thought maybe she was teased about it or had some bad memories about cows. But I guess that's not the case. So anything's fine as long as it doesn't end with Chan. What about Muku then? That wasn't much of a change. As he says that, he nervously glances at her out of the corner of his eye. She looks interesting to be honest. However, this time there is no extreme reaction. It's cute that Anushi, right? Suit yourself. Okay, Moku, it is. I have a question, Moku. What is it? The ghost appeared after classes we are over. Miwo-san told us to pass the message to you. What should we do about it? For now, it is not an urgent matter that requires our attention. There's a ghost. The disciplinary committee will let us know if they need us to investigate. Uh, um, Oshio-san, could you tell us what exactly happens before we have to take action? Did you hear not? Did you not hear an explanation while you were in the library? Eh? The library was empty though, right? Yeah, there was nobody else there besides us. How could we have heard anything? Did you try the path beyond the bookshelves? Mara and I look at each other. All we saw were tons of bookshelves, so we didn't know there was a path at the other end of them. But still, Maru yelled out asking if there was if there were if there was anyone here and there was no response. In that case, I suppose she stepped out, which is quite rare. She should be back, so try checking the library again. Who are we supposed to look for? Rito-san, it would be faster for you to ask her all your questions. Why can't you just explain it to us now? You were supposed to have gone to her first before coming here. She should be somewhere in that area, over there, outside this room. 
Moku points out the direction and promptly returns to reading her book. It seems like she's trying to say, Ma own work here is done. I guess we don't have a choice. Let's go. Okay. Opening the doors of the Borea, which we return to the library. Heading in the direction Moku pointed towards, we pass the end of the bookshelves and... Oh, yeah, there's someone here. Is she Rita's son? <laughs> Looking cute. A girl wearing a school uniform and that's all. Built of you. Uh, oh, my nose. Mm. She's uh, pet tight, however, and is carrying near her chest a book that's even larger than the one Muku was reading. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Rita san? In response to Mark Omaru's question, she looks up at us and smiles. <laughs> it appears that we have found the right person. She seems to be friendlier than Muku. She looks so different from the... She looks so different from this perspective. Welcome, Karasuma Kotaro. And you are Kogamichiru, right? Yeah, if you know us, then what? Then what? And that makes things easier. Yes, I've heard that you are in the new members of the Borea of the Investigation of Special Affairs and also the ones who broke the bronze statue of the Couch Guard. Couch Yaw? Couch Yaw? I don't know. Uh, uh, hi. That's right. So much that has happened that I completely forgot about that. You have already encountered the mist and seen the realm of night, correct? Mist? Mist? Oh. I was told that you saw the, the mirror that shows once the slice being sealed yesterday. Ah, that. We did see that happen. I really don't want to think about it, though. So, what is it that you want me to tell you about? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is quite vague, Kogamichiro. I don't care if it's vague. Nobody's explained anything to us at all. <laughs> yeah. We have seen that. Hmm? Do you see those or to the left from Michiru's neck? To the left from Michiru's... Uh, Michiru... Michiru... Uh, Omaro's, Omaro from, from Omaro's neck. There are those signs. That reminds me of something. Reminds me of a game. But I forgot where. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, mist, was it? And we've seen the night room. But we don't understand what's going on. I see. In which case, I suppose I will start with the basics. Given a slight nod, her faint smile fades and she starts her explanation. Before, before we start with this explanation, ladies and gentlemen, it's like, whoa, this was a little bit short, but sorry, like I said, I have to do this. I have to do it at the time like this the, the, to, to keep the episodes a little bit shorter. I hope it's okay for you. I hope you are still enjoying it. Because I do, and I would love to. And I would love it if you enjoy them as well. And, or if you want some, uh, how should I call it? If you want me to improve something or uh, maybe make something a little bit better from your point of view, what from your point of view might be better, it would be nice if you could tell me. Otherwise, I will continue and just try to, to improve on my own. Ladies and gentlemen, 
If you enjoyed it as much as I did or even more, like it, share, subscribe, but don't leave anything out, don't leave anything out. And as always remember, dreams can choose so what you to do, just believe in you, ladies and gentlemen. You should watch somebody me for sure, especially for me, no, for me and especially for you. You should watch Darling and her friends, ladies and gentlemen, for sure. Ladies, or if you want me to recommend this, it will be a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy watching.